Hello and welcome to the three P's of a fast, successful migration and how TELUS International put them into practice. My name is Steve Derora. I'm the Solution Manager for Application Migration on Google Cloud. And I'm joined today by Michael Ringman, the CIO of TELUS International. Hey, everybody. So what we're seeing in 2021 is that companies will continue to focus heavily on migration, 59% in fact. And they call it a major focus for 2021. And maybe you're one of those companies. Okay, but despite that focus, only half of everyone's workloads and data are in the cloud. That means the other half is still on-prem. Literally millions of VMs and containers and servers and hard drives just hanging out on-prem despite a significant focus on migration. Why and why does this happen? Well, because migration pathways aren't always easy to determine. Yes, if migration was easy, everyone would have done it by now, but it's not. And we're here not to lie to you about that because it isn't easy. But it doesn't have to be hard. With the right structure and help and partnerships, you can cross this chasm easier than you might think. So where do you begin? As I said up front, there's no one size fits all answer for migration. I wish there was, but there isn't. Every company is different and every migration will be its own special snowflake. The trick, believe it or not, is to ask the right questions and knowing what questions to ask and how those answers should shape your migration plan. That's the secret. Let's explore that by talking about three fundamental questions you need to ask first. So why do you want to migrate in the first place? It could be because of business drivers, technical or situational drivers, or customer related drivers. And then for planning, let's dig in a little bit. Before you really start crafting your migration plan, you've got to build your business plan. This is the culmination of some of the things we talked about in part one. What is driving you to the cloud? Is it leaving a data center? Is it an executive mandate? Is it for performance reasons? What goals are you hoping to achieve? Is it to be cloud native, improve customer experience, or to have faster release cycles? What constraints are you working against? Small IT staff, tight budgets? Do you have a low risk tolerance? The answer to those questions will help shape your business plan. Once you've got the business plan, then the migration plan in many ways almost writes itself. With Google Cloud and our partners, we'll extrapolate the migration plan and your workloads based on that business plan. And this surprisingly is crucial, making sure you go in this order. Trying to reverse engineer the business plan out of the migration plan can often cause issues down the line. Things like unclear goals, unexpected constraints, and so on. So we've talked a lot about building your business plan and migration plan. These things are important. But here is the thing about planning. It's actually a balancing act, and more is not always better. I've seen many customers get so bogged down in planning that they end up going nowhere for 12 months. Planning is absolutely worth its weight in gold, but you have to avoid analysis paralysis. At some point, you have to ask yourself if you have a good plan, and if you do, take action. Then iterate as you go. There is no perfect migration plan, and if that's your bar, you'll never hit it. And if your competitors are likely to take advantage of your delays, so time is really of the essence here. So let's take a minute to look at prioritization. We've talked about planning before, and a good migration plan is gonna have four phases. First, your assessment phase, where you work to understand exactly what you have. Second, based on that assessment, you start to plan what you should move and how. Third, you start to execute the migration itself. And fourth, you fine tune and optimize what you've migrated. Now we represent this migration plan as a single circle, but in reality, it's a bit more recursive in that you have your high level migration plan, but then you also have groups of apps called migration waves that have their own specific plan as well. And each subsequent plan in theory is adapting the lessons from previous migration waves. It's all about building that migration muscle memory. This is also where prioritization comes into play because it means you're picking out what workloads or applications get moved when. So let's talk more about that. How do you get to a point of good prioritization? First, for phase one, you've got to understand what you have because you can't prioritize what you don't know. So what's the answer? Doing a comprehensive discovery and assessment of your IT landscape. And believe me, every customer that does an assessment ends up finding tons of resources they didn't even know existed. And it's better to bubble those surprises up now versus during the migration itself. 
The good news, well, there are many amazing tools that can do this for you. Second, Google Cloud actually offers a free discovery and assessment. So if you're interested in understanding exactly what you've got, we'll do that for you at no cost and no obligation. But it's a great way to understand what you have and what your cloud cost might look like. And once you're done, you'll have a nice inventory of what you've got, in addition to a way to model the transition to the cloud and what it might look like with varying migration options and budgeting. Now, once you've got that inventory, it's time to prioritize. To that end, application sorting is going to be your best friend, and it works like this. You take a list of questions that may or may not be important to you based on the business plan you've laid out. Then you go down your list of applications and answer them honestly. Based on your goals and your answers, you'll be able to see some patterns which will help reveal what your migration waves might look like and who should go first. Basically, the apps that hit more of these questions in the affirmative are the strongest candidates to move first. Given those questions that were the most important to my organization, I can create buckets for applications based on how easy or difficult they might be to migrate. In this case, three buckets, easy, medium, and complex. From the slide before, you'll recall my organization's top migration concerns were business criticality, connectedness, and cut over downtime. Based on that, we can create a table with our priorities on top and then difficulty for each row. Now, let's segue into seeing how one of our customers put these three Ps into practice for their own migration, and I'm happy to introduce Michael Ringman, CIO of TELUS International. Thanks, Steve. It's my pleasure to be here today. My name is Michael Ringman, and I am the CIO at TELUS International. At TELUS International, we design, build, and deliver digital IT and customer experience solutions for leading global brands. Today, I will share how we applied the three Ps to the migration of Verant, a customer engagement application to GCP. So let's dive right in. If you've ever heard this call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes, then you're at least somewhat familiar with part of the customer engagement services that Verant provides. TELUS International has developed a long-term reciprocal partner with Verant as both a client and as a partner over the past 15 years. As a client, we use Verant's voice of the customer and workforce optimization technologies to drive efficiencies in our daily operations. Their voice of the customer application helps us with call and screen recording to monitor customer interactions and their workforce management solutions track peaks and valleys in call volumes in order to determine to help us optimize our scheduling and minimize customer wait times. As one can imagine, the call and screen recordings from each customer interaction result in large file sizes, which can be difficult to manage in an on-premise environment. At TELUS International, we've seen a great success with our own applications operating on the GCP, especially in terms of accessibility, storage, scalability, and flexibility. In fact, our cloud-based infrastructure provided us with the agility to quickly pivot to meet the changing client demands and absorb shocks such as the COVID-19 pandemic. We decided that it was time to migrate one of our most used third-party applications to the cloud, sparking the migration of Varen to the GCP to further optimize performance. Now keep in mind, at the time, Verant was not supporting a cloud deployment on GCP. At best, they had certified a small instance on a competing cloud instance. My engineers were interested in migrating the application to the cloud, but only if Verant would support the application once it was moved there. Why did we migrate to GCP? Because it makes it easier for TELUS International to store the files from call recordings due to the straightforward nature of provisioning cloud storage. It also offers greater efficiencies in speed and data management and cost effectiveness. In addition to these critical reasons, we knew that migrating Varen to GCP would also greatly improve the team member experience by quickly providing them with access to relevant interaction data, regardless of channel. And as a result, team members were able to quickly solve customer inquiries, resulting in faster resolution times. So, once we decided to proceed with the migration, the first step entailed supporting Verence GCP certification with a proof of concept, as well as validation, followed by the necessary testing. 
and this needed to be completed in a four to six week window. Next, we considered our then on-premise footprint and determined what hardware we may need over the next 12 months. With our plan and requirements in place and Varen certified on GCP, we were able to stand up the new environment in roughly one week. The process to stand up the new infrastructure would have taken us three to six months in an on-premise environment, which we had done the previous year. However, including the GCP certification process, it took us only a matter of weeks, and we were able to very quickly migrate 30,000 of our variant users from on-premise to the cloud over the course of a weekend with very limited service disruptions. As I mentioned before, TELUS International has had a great success story with many of our own applications running on GCP. Varent, however, was the first third-party application that we migrated to GCP. This is a big deal for TELUS International is typically applications can only migrate if the vendor has already vetted out the solution. But we were able to work closely with Varent and bring this migration to life. With over 30,000 Varent users, migrating the application to GCP has been greatly beneficial to the productivity of our team members and the organization. Having the Varent from the data from Varent's application in the Google Cloud makes it so much more accessible and opens up new possibilities such as data analytics and integration with our other customer experience services, which are also on the Google Cloud. We have found that once programs and their data are in the cloud, it's a lot easier for us to enable our business. First of all, having Varen enabled on the GCP has enabled our team members to work faster and with greater efficiency than when they were on the on-premise app. Now team members are more able to quickly access customer information, resulting in lower handle times and faster resolutions. Team members are also now able to generate reports on customer interactions in minutes as opposed to the hours it would take before. Secondly, due to significant reduction in lead time that we were required to install new servers and set up configurations, we were able to significantly reduce the time it takes to get our clients up and running. This process used to take us three to four times longer than when we were on premise with Varent. This serves as a significant advantage to our prospective clients and has been a market differentiator for TELUS International and an integral part of our go-to-market strategy. Further, the flexibility and scalability of the cloud allows us to shift with market trends so that we are able to quickly scale in minutes to help with rush launches or to assist larger workloads. We can better respond to the end customers for the brands that we support and as an example, in the first half of 2021, we have recorded already over 34 million calls and transcribed 3.2 million calls. Finally, we've been able to significantly cut down on costs since migrating Varen to the GCP. On a monthly basis, we are seeing roughly $6,000 of, sa of monthly savings due to GCP providing tighter monitoring of our servers and the required resources. Annually, we are seeing a savings of up to $150,000 by reducing the required space and power that the servers used to consume. We've also seen significant one-time savings. Our reduced dependency on servers has resulted in a roughly $2.8 million cost avoidance for us, as well as roughly $250,000 annually on network connectivity and network devices. So with all of these amazing results, what's next? At TELUS International, we are known for our courage to innovate and ability to embrace change in order to constantly be on the leading edge for the benefit of our clients and our team members. Our 10 year long relationship with Google has been instrumental in supporting our clients evolving digital transformation strategies and digital customer experiences. Google Cloud technology has been vital in helping our global team members stand up virtual desktops, which enabled us to ensure business continuity during the pandemic. We will continue to find ways to optimize the Varent platform on the Google Cloud and determine new ways to work together to continue to be able to pass along the benefits to our clients and team members around the world. And 
Due to the success of this migration, we are already looking at moving additional third-party applications to the Google Cloud. Sure excited about what's ahead for TELUS International with GCP and the Google Cloud team by our side as a trusted partner. And I'll turn it back over to you, Steve. Thank you, Michael. And let's take a minute to recap the three Ps of fast, successful migration. Their purpose, planning, and prioritization. The question is, is it really that easy? I think the moral of the story is that not all applications are created equal, and so many of them will require their own migration wave plans. We keep coming back to our North Stars, understanding your drivers, goals, and constraints, even for your applications, and then pick the best path for them. Don't think that you need one migration strategy for your entire digital transformation. You can, and almost definitely will, mix and match. Your migration plan is like your home decor or your clothing. There are many options, and you have to pick what's best for you, or in this case, your organization. Keep your North Stars in mind. Always keep your business plan and cloud rationale handy. Start with the easy stuff first, and never be afraid to shift or evolve your strategy if you're hitting issues. But there is another really important way you can help ensure your success, and that is to find a great partner. A partner that's got experience and is willing to invest in truly helping you achieve your business goals through migration. They're a fresh set of eyes that will help you plan, migrate, optimize, and modernize further down the road. No organization should feel like they've got to go it alone, and help is available through your cloud provider and or experienced partners. We're all here to help, so don't be shy. To that end, at Google Cloud, we aim to be your total migration partner, making sure that we provide the expertise you need to meet your near and long-term business goals. We're here to help, and we'd love to talk more about your drivers, goals, and constraints. If you want to learn more, check out cloud.google.com slash migrate. And you can also sign up for that free discovery and assessment I mentioned earlier by clicking the button at the top of the page that says free migration cost assessment, or check out either of these related sessions, INF211 or INF103. Thank you so much for attending today's session. It was my pleasure and privilege to talk to you about the three Ps of migration. I also want to thank Michael for joining us from TELUS International.